Excellencies, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure and privilege to address you this morning at this opening of the 2015 World Radio Communication Conference. WRC 15, like the Radio Communication Assembly last week, represents an important landmark in the life of ITU's radio communication sector. As you know, World Radio Communication Conferences are responsible for updating the radio regulations. The international treaty governing the use of the radio frequency spectrum and the geostationary satellite and non-geostationary satellite orbits. The preparation for WRC 15, which started nearly four years ago, has seen an increasing participation of the ITUR membership that resulted in thousands of pages of ITUR recommendations and the reports developed and approved to address all the required technical and regulatory issues on the WRC 15 agenda. Of course, we are running paperless uh, conference. We are not presenting you these thousands of pages of recommendations and the reports in paper copy. They are all available online. There are around 40 topics on the WRC 15 agenda. Some of the main issues to be discussed at the conference will be the provision of additional frequencies to meet the rapidly growing demand for mobile broadband communications. The allocation of frequencies for advanced broadband public protection and disaster relief, DBDR. New allocation for Earth exploration satellite services with higher resolution radar imagery for improved global environmental and climate change monitoring. Spectrum for the aeronautical sector related to the use of unmanned aircraft systems, UAS, and wireless avionautics intro communications, MAC, M-A-I-C. The consideration of a spectrum for global flight tracking for civil aviation following the decision of the last ITU Plenary Potential Conference held in Busan last year. Enhanced maritime communication systems to facilitate the use of onboard digital transmission and automatic identification system on vessels for improved navigation safety. The allocation of frequencies for short range, high resolution radars for collision avoidance systems in vehicles for increased Root safety. Allocation of a spectrum for broadband satellite systems, providing for all stations onboard moving platforms, such as the vehicle vessels, and improving coordination procedures to make more efficient use of spectrum and satellite orbits. Examining the feasibility of achieving a continuous reference time scale by modifying coordinated universal time, UTC. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we can see that this conference will address important topics that are of crucial relevance to governments, industry, and individuals all over the world. We have prepared a special edition of the ITU news magazine on WRC 15 to help 
inform the IT community as well as members of the public on the main issues at stake here and on the potential impact of the conference's decisions. Distinguished colleagues, let me congratulate Mr. Fatus Dodu for his nomination as chairman of WRC 15, as well as the vice chairman. Mr. Dodu, I have uh, every confidence in your abilities to ensure a smooth and efficient running of the conference over the four coming weeks. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my high appreciation for my colleague, Mr. Francois Ranci, Director of Radio Communication Bureau, and his staff of the communication, Radio Communication Bureau for excellent work on the preparations of WRC 15. Of course, I also appreciate the other staff of ITU, other services who engaged with uh, this preparation. So ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, WRC 15 will define new and better ways to regulate radio services and applications in a world where radio communications are playing a more and a more important role in connecting people. I'm convinced that the outcome of the conference will represent a major contribution in making the world a better place for all. I wish you a very productive and successful WRC 15. Thank you very much. Thank you.